Hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about affordances. Now, affordances are a type of user design or user interface so that it's possible for a user to use your product uh, without having to think too hard about it. If you think back to the hunt for the world of people where heck has the knack, well, it's a way of making people feel like they have the knack. So let's have a look at what are some of the things that you can do in terms of affordances. One is giving people visual cues. So if you want something to look like a link, you might make it look different to other text. Uh, traditionally in HTML, it's been underlined in blue, although you very rarely see that these days. Um, but it's not a very good affordance if your links are all exactly the same as the text that you're reading. It's good to make it stand out in some way. Similarly, if you want something to happen, a button is a good idea for that sort of an affordance to demonstrate an action for, you know, lock it in or purchase or do something like that. Um, also, some functionality, some functional things such as when you hover over it, it might change colour. Uh, or it might actually have some um, colour that's meaningful, such as stop being red and go being green. And this brings me to the next topic, which is consistency. So... If you're going to have buttons for actions, and I think buttons are good, uh, then buttons that are all the ones that are go ahead would be, you know, green or a similar colour or a consistent colour at the very least. And so when we talk about conventions, we mean things that are commonly done. So I wouldn't have my go, go on buttons being red and my stop buttons being green. I think that would be very confusing. Um, some of the other um, conventions are people tend to have the navigation to the left and they have some navigation in the breadcrumbs at the top of the screen. Uh, so these are things that you can do in terms of your affordances. Uh, and we tend to have the branding at the top of the screen, of course. And giving people feedback. This is not just error messages, although error messages are part of it. You know, your order has been placed. Um, please go to the next screen. You know, step two of four. Um, you know, this also connects with validation. You know, this field required a number. Uh, this number is too big. Um, you must fill this in before you go on. All of these things help people get it right. So all of these things fit under the general heading of affordances, but it does come down to all the, of have an app where I set the volumes of particular sounds. And it looks like a slider. So it looks like you could set it anywhere, but there, from experience, I know that there's only three or four places it will actually lock into. And so that's a case where I think that affordance would be better if they maybe had little markers on them so that I knew where it was snapping to and I wasn't trying to get some imaginary spot in between. But if you get a question about affordances, that's what they are. They're part of your user interface and it's about making the user of it feel like they have the knack.